Hey guys, welcome to another video. My name is Felipe and today I want to continue our talks about performing with our iPads. And I'm going to talk about one of my favorite subjects, which is adding effects to your sound. Sounds without effects, in my opinion, get boring, you know. As a guitar player, if I had to just plug my guitar into an amp with no reverb, no delay, no chorus, it's like, what am I doing? This is just me on a personal level. But the same concept can be applied to the iPad and to virtual instruments. You're able to add an effect to a synthesizer or you're able to create an effect bus where you can feed multiple uh, virtual instruments into that one effect. So today I want to show you in a few very simple, easy steps how to add effects to your sound by using the AUM audio mixer and a few other effects that I'll mention to you in this next tutorial. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is to open the AUM audio mixer app. Once the app loads, we're going to press the plus sign, open a channel strip, and we're going to load a virtual instrument from Sunriser. Sunriser is an app that you have to download but the presets that we're going to use in this example, you can find completely free on our website, dreamfootexperience.com. So I'm gonna open Sunriser, and I'm going to load a library that we have created called Analog Keys. And I'm going to select the patch that's called Saw Octave Lead. And just for this example, I'm gonna go to the effects section of Sunriser, and I'm going to turn off the reverb and turn off the delay so that we can add our own effects. So let me show you how this sounds with no effects. So it's kind of boring, there's no life to it, so let's go ahead and insert an effect to this sound. So we're gonna press the plus sign that's next to the channel strip, and now we're going to get a list of all the effects that are available on our iPad. I'm gonna go ahead and open one that's called Cosmonaut. The Cosmonaut is a delay effect which means it creates a cool repeat. And let's check the delay settings. I'm going to add a dotted eight delay. So I'm gonna bring the level up. Let's see how it sounds. It gives me one repeat, so that's great. I'm going to bring that up a little higher and now I'm gonna bring the feedback up. So it gives me several repeats. As you can see, the synth has a little bit more live into it. And now I'm gonna add one more effect. So I'm gonna press right under the Cosmonaut and I'm gonna get a new plus sign. So double click, then hit the plus sign and I'm gonna open another app that I have on my iPad called EOS2, which is a reverb. A reverb is gonna create a more wide and spread sound. So I'm gonna open the reverb and I'm gonna start playing with it. You can see now my sound sustains a little longer. Let me increase the mix. I hope you had fun. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope that now that you know that you can actually add effects to your sound, you're gonna start getting more creative and you're gonna find different ways to alter your sound and to creatively create a much better uh, final product. So remember that all the sounds that you heard in this video can be found on our website, dreamfootexperience.com. Go to free resources, open an account, download them and start playing with them and go to the app store, download a few effects, add them into your session and start having fun and being creative. I'll see you in the next tutorial.